Jared Wayman, East Regional Mentor for the Warren Stereo Program with USA Hockey and owner of Crease Goaltending. Today we're going to take you through the Bobcat Glove and Chest Safe Series. With the Bobcat Glove Series, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take away the net. We're going to have the goaltender stand on the goal line and the coach near the dot with a pile of pucks. This drill could actually be done anywhere on the ice. We'd like the goaltender to be 15 to 20 feet away from the coach. The coach is then going to shoot the puck high glove. We're going to make sure the goaltender is watching the puck from the ice all the way to his or her glove hand. The key element is that the goaltender tracks the puck all the way to the glove in front of their body. We don't want the goaltender's hand to move back in a windmill fashion. We want to also make sure that the goaltender squeezes his or her glove watching the puck all the way into the webbing. The second part of the Bobcat Glove and Chest Save Series is the goaltender will start at the top of the crease. The coach will stay somewhere near the dot angle for the pile of pucks. Upon the word go, the goaltender must locate the puck with their eyes, T-push over, and get their feet set. Once their feet are set, the coach will then shoot high to the glove side. In this instance, the goaltender is a standard goalie and will catch with the left hand and the puck will be shot towards the short side. The final part of the Bobcat Glove and Chest Save Series is the goaltender will start again in the top of the crease. The coach will remain in the dot angle. Upon the word go, the goaltender will still T-push over. Now the coach will have a choice to shoot high short side towards the glove hand or at the goalie's chest. With the chest save, we want to make sure that goaltender's glove is following the puck into his or her body and sealing the puck against their chest. This will minimize rebound and make for a much better save.